When it comes to KDE Plasma, people often wonder what the difference is between KDE Neon and Kubuntu. That's why in this video I'm going to be comparing the latest release of KDE Neon and Kubuntu 20.04. So with the latest release of Kubuntu 20.04, KDE Neon is about to get a refresh as well. And people often wonder what the differences are, so this is going to help you guys choose which one might be better for you. Now for this video, I decided to change the default wallpaper for KD Neon so that you could better differentiate between the two. So on my main machine right now, I'm using KD Neon and in the virtual machine, I'm using Kubuntu 20.04. Now, when you look at both of these, the default experience right after installing the system, the only difference you can really see is that uh, they both use the same uh, wallpaper, but Kubuntu uses a dark theme with its own logo here and KD Neon uses a light theme. Apart from that, everything else is basically the same. Now, the biggest difference is when it comes to comparing the two is that KD Neon is based off of the stable release, LTS release of Ubuntu, which currently is 20.04, and up until now it was 18.04, and it uses the latest version of the KD Plasma and just KD applications, it uses the latest stable release of these applications. Now, if we take a look at KD Neon, it uses the Plasma 5.18.4 version. And if we look at Kubuntu, it uses the same version. But here's the thing. When Plasma 5.19 and other non-LTS releases start coming out, KD Neon is going to continue featuring support and allowing you to install the latest versions. Uh, whereas with Kubuntu, you're going to be stuck with Plasma 5.18 because it's an LTS release. Um, but you can change that. So right now I use a lot of terms that perhaps some of you may not know. When it comes to rolling release, what this means is you're getting the latest releases and latest versions of the software. So you're going to continue having your KDE software uh, updated. So that's uh, regarding the uh, desktop environment. It's regarding the applications such as the terminal, such as the file manager, uh, the text editor, and so on and so forth. Uh, whereas with um, Kubuntu, you're getting the stable version. But you can easily change this. And I have this in my browser open here. So if you go on the official website with three simple commands, you can add the repository that's going to give you the latest versions for Kubuntu as well. Uh, meaning you're basically going to have the same experience when it comes to the KDE software. So if you want something that may be a, a little bit less stable, um, but you want the newest software, then you could easily do this on Kubuntu and it's going to work uh, without a problem. Um, whereas with KDE Neon, it's basically doing that by default. Um, and when it comes to LTS, as most of you may know, that means long-term support. So all of this is very stable. Both of these distributions are using um, a stable uh, basis. And when it comes to updates and whatnot, you're going to be getting uh, updates a bit less often than a rolling release a distribution like Arch Linux, for example, but it's going to be more secure. So when it comes to both of these, you're getting a lot of stability. Um, now, up until recently, KD Neon used uh, Ubuntu 18.04 as a release for about two years, whereas with Kubuntu, the current release is 20.04, but uh, later on, later down the line, 20.10 is going to be released, and if you want to update, you're going you're going to have the option to be able to update that. Uh, whereas with KD Neon, you're going to have to wait until the next uh, LTS release. So that is the main difference, and uh, KD Neon is often referred to uh, not a traditional type distribution because, uh, again, it's really just Ubuntu 18.04, just featuring the uh, latest release of KD Plasma software and using KD as uh, the desktop environment. Now, when it comes to the um, the kernel version. Kubuntu is using 5.4, whereas when it comes to KD Neon, it's currently using 5.3. So you're getting a more up-to-date kernel. Now, 
The next difference is not as big, but it's regarding software. So the Ubuntu team has really been trying to push snap packages uh, and you're basically going to be getting the same treatment on KD Neon. I just think that um, it's a bit more, I, I mean, I, I suppose it's a bit less of a hassle dealing with snaps if you're not a fan of snaps on KD Neon. Um, but as you can see, it has a snap support by default. And when it comes to both of these, they both have a very good support when it comes to different sources of software. So uh, whether it's regarding uh, flat packs or snap support or app images, uh, both of these distributions handle those very well. Although I do think that uh, KD Neon has a bit of a better uh, support for app images. So for example, I recently downloaded pCloud and this is an app image, meaning uh, you just click on it and it runs. So if you click execute, it's going to run just fine. And on Kubuntu, it appears on the start menu as well on the application menu. So if we type pCloud, we can see it here. And the same thing as is applicable for KD Neon. If we type pCloud, we can see that it's right here. Um, but one thing that's nice is KD Neon, when you first click on an app image, it gives you a prompt and it asks if you want to run it once or if you want to integrate it in your system. So if you do choose to integrate it in your system, you get this applications folder and this folder contains all of your app images. So I think that KD Neon has a bit of a better uh, support when it comes to app images, but both of them handle it just fine. Another thing that I haven't been able to find in KD Neon, which I'm not sure if it has, um, is these software sources, which you can find, which you can find in Kubuntu 20.04. And this is really nice to just handle your repositories and your updates as well. And you can also check for additional software or drivers. I mean, my bad. But really, apart from this, when it comes to comparing the two, they're very similar, especially now that uh, both of them are essentially the same thing. Uh, because if you choose to go to this website and you apply these changes onto your uh, Kubuntu 20.04 system, uh, then you basically have KD Neon, essentially. Uh, so they're very similar at the end of the day. It's just... What you have to ask yourself is, would you rather have something that's going to continue to stay stable and you just want the latest release of uh, KD software without having to add any backports? Um, or if you're using Kubuntu, if you plan on perhaps changing to 20.10 later down the line for a bit uh, newer applications, uh, application versions, uh, then you could do that and... It all depends on just how stable you want your system and um, when it comes to having the uh, more up-to-date versions of applications, um, you have to also ask yourself that. So when it comes to KD Neon, if you want, uh, without having to go through any hassle of uh, using the latest version of KD Plasma software, uh, then you should go with this. It's very stable and it works very well. But when it comes to Kubuntu, um, you can basically have the same experience. It's just that if you want to update later down the line to something that's a bit more up to date uh, in a couple months when uh, 12, I mean 20.10 comes out, then that's uh, the option for you. So that was basically it. Both are indeed very similar. Um, but yeah, uh, at the end of the day, depending on which one runs better and what you want specifically, you can make the right choice. So that was that for this video. If you liked it, uh, make sure to like the video. And if you have any comments or questions, suggestions, make sure to comment that and subscribe as well. And that was basically it. Thanks for watching.